Hi, I'm trying to probe my eyes to measure the resistance. You may ask why though. See, I made this video before where I put lie wires in the water and then I put my finger in the water too. Let's get close to the wires. Nothing. Still nothing. That's why I'm trying to probe my eyes. Because some people thought that since I was not electrocuted, nobody gets electrocuted in water. First of all, I only had my finger in the water, not my whole body. So for safety reasons, let's assume that if I felt electricity in my finger, then a whole body in the water would be electrocuted. What the f are you doing? Who the hell are you? I was just passing by. I think I'm lost. Dude, this is my bedroom. Honey, did you leave the door open again? It's okay. I'll show myself out. What kind of fetish were you performing? Get out! Okay, okay. Imbeciles. But there is one more thing. See, my finger is covered with only high resistance skin, while there are other spots on the body that have much less resistance and let much more current to go through. For example, my eyes. That's why I'm trying to measure the resistance between them through my head. But these things are too pointy. Let's try to find something smoother. Well, I guess we'll have to live with these probes. Don't try this at home. If I hold the probes with my fingers, you see that the resistance of dry skin is somewhere around 400 kilo ohms. Now, if I probe my eyes carefully, you see that the resistance of the eyes is somewhere between 20k to 50 kilo ohms, which is much smaller than the skin. So if I fall into a water with live wires, the electricity will go through my eyes and will probably burn my brain. But this is not the only spot with low resistance, for example, my nostrils. Somewhere around less than 100 kilo ohms even. Or my ears. It's around 200 kilo ohms. Or even my tongue. Hmm, it's around 20 kilo ohms. It's funny. So if you fall into water charged by electricity, keep your head above the water and keep your skin healthy and intact. Also stop swimming and get out of the water.